Hello everyone, it is 6.15 a.m. This weekend I'm going to the Isle of Skye. Um, this is the trip that was planned by my like exchange program coordinator people and they have a whole list of things we are doing and places we are going and there's stops on the way between here and there, but it's kind of a long trip. at the Hermitage, which is a place that was owned by the Duke of Athol. Athol. And he built this really cool like viewing tower for all the lords and ladies to come up and view the gorgeous falls without getting muddy because nobody wants that. And so he actually built like a carriage road so everyone could come up here and like sit in this beautiful building and view the falls. <laughs> in Pitlockery. Next stop, we're going to a sheepdog farm. Sheep, and he uses a number of sheepdogs to control them. Uh, it's really very interesting, very, very impressive what he can get these dogs to do. Uh, last time I saw it, he had seven or eight dogs, I think seven, all working to, I mean, they, have, they share certain commands, but they also have an individual whistle for them. We're going to go down here, we'll damage the dogs first of all, we're going to damage the dogs 15-20 minutes, we're going to bring the sheep up here, shoe the sheep up here, put a little bit more shelter here, puppies at the end, they're only just 9 days old, the puppies have never opened their eyes yet, the lambs are only are being born, started being born 5 days ago, some of the lambs won't even be, be 2 days old, so 4 feet down the rocks, I know. 
Survive that one since they say put on their back. <coughs> keep the sheep nice and relaxed. Nice flat by the ground. I'm just telling you this is his 2016 rule we're taking out. Keep it nice and gentle. All I do is shear in the new rule, I take the old way. The yellow you see in the sheep's coat, that's the lanolin oil, the oil, lanolin. It's made into lipsticks, lots of different oils. Do you process the wool at all or do you sell it like it is? Uh, we sell the wool, we just roll in a ball and that wool is sold to the British Wool Marketing Board. They wash the wool and they sell it to Italy, Belgium and China. Do you normally use the, those uh, metal shears or do you use like electric shears generally? We normally use electric shears June and July. Okay. We use the electric shears June and July, we use the hand shears if we ever shear sheep early, May time or we ever shear sheep after August. I shear the sheep with the, with the, the electric shears in August, September, October. There's no wool left. It doesn't give the sheep enough time to grow the wool back for December. By using the hand shears in August, I leave all the new growth on the sheep. This is making survive. Does anybody want to try sheep? I do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's a dog, baby! <laughs> Oh, you're not going any 
anywhere. You can't go anywhere, little kid. No. No. The tiniest of puppies. Oh. oh my gosh, I hear it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my goodness. Stretching. <laughs> <laughs> You're only sad. nine days old. Um, Look at you. This is because oh. we're missing baby oh. wolf day. We get baby um, Oh, baby. Look at this, we don't know. Oh. left-hand side just now. So that's the most famous view of Elan Donan. Like I say, we'll stop at the car park on Sunday. checked into the hotel. I have a room all to myself. Uh, we have dinner in about half an hour and then there are a bunch of people who signed up to do a 5k run across the sky bridge. Nope. Nope. Nope right out of that one. Okay, just got back to my room. Uh, we had dinner and then I went out tonight with some girls from St. Andrews. We had a great night. It was a lot of fun and I think I'm just gonna chill and go to bed early because I have to be up by 7 a.m. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.